Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Hey guys, in this MKBHD video for the Locker Gnome YouTube channel and Chris.Perillo.com, we'll be taking a look at Blue, the Twitter client for Windows. Now yes, this is Twitter only and Windows only, and this does appeal to a very small amount of people, uh, but it is very nicely put together, well-polished Twitter client with a lot of eye candy that people will like. So I'll warn you now, this isn't for everyone, but if you do like eye candy and you have enough monitor real estate for this kind of thing, I definitely suggest checking it out. So I'll go ahead and double click it and you'll see the opening animation straight off the bat is something that you really don't see in something like TweetDeck or Destroy Twitter, which I was able to show you guys on this channel earlier this month. So right off the bat, there you go. On the middle is your timeline and you can scroll down with your mouse uh, scroll wheel just like any other Twitter application. So that moves just like that. Then you can see above the Twitter client, there's a little bird that has no function. And at the bottom, you can switch between accounts. So this does have multiple account support. And if I were to add another account besides my MKBHD account, I could do so. Over on the left, you have your search button to add a new column for searching through tweets. And on the right-hand side, you have a new tweet button. And here's a very dynamic moving interface. As you type, you'll be able to see the number of characters you have remaining in your 140 character tweet and you can shorten lengths and add media which is pretty sweet for a desktop Twitter client to be expected and over here you of course can return to your home timeline now if you're not on your home timeline you'll be on one of these other uh, sections of the blue Twitter client which include at replies or mentions these are all the mentions to the MKBHD account you also have your favorite tweets you have your retweets your messages, and if you uh, keep your tweets on private, these will, the personal column will allow you to approve followers. So we'll go back here to the home column. The last thing I can show you is up on the right-hand side. We have a couple of uh, sort of auxiliary functions here. We can refresh the timeline of the MKBHD account, or the current user's account, since you might have a different account set up as well. You can also edit settings, and this goes ahead and flips over and you have skip the opening animation if you really don't want that so of course if there's a lot of you guys who won't want that you can skip that you can also use spell check and change the size of the tweets in your home timeline so I'll change that to 12 just for a more even number we had done you can see that it did get a little bit smaller and moves up you can also minimize this application and when I do you'll see up on the top right hand side you have that little bird there like I said earlier you're going to want enough screen real estate to be able to use this Twitter application so you can always see that bird and click that bird on your desktop. Also when you get notifications they'll show up on the bottom right hand side so you won't always have to worry about clicking that bird all the time. When that bird flaps you are <laughs> yes refreshing the Twitter uh, your home timeline so don't worry about that bird flapping thinking something is wrong that's <laughs> something that's supposed to happen. But that's basically it for blue Twitter for Windows. This has evolved a lot this has been developed by 1323 uh, and you can really do pretty much anything you could do in any other dedicated Twitter client with Blue. And it works really nicely with Windows 7, especially if you have the stock blue background or if you enjoy the transparency and things like that. This has been MKBHD with a screencast for the YouTube channel of LockerGnome and Chris.Parello.com. Thanks for watching this one, and I'll talk to you guys next week. Peace.